Hey guys, welcome to today's video. So we're gonna be talking about expensive products, very, very expensive products that uh, didn't really work out. So this is not just a fails video, this is gonna be kind of different. This is something that I picked up in Vegas and I used it had issues with it, and I just felt like I don't wanna wait until I'm doing another fails. I just wanted to sit down and do like a full on WTF because this is such an expensive, pricey, up there, oh my God, why kind of a product. You know, when you hear Sicily, I always joke around that you have to like pay money every time you say Sicily. Um, it's just like a very, very ridiculously expensive brand and I'm talking like their hand cream is $105. Who's the idiot that bought it? me um, because I'm always trying to explore and figure out why certain things are more expensive. Do they perform better? Are the ingredients really that much more luxurious and uh, expensive and hard to source? And is there a reason why things should be at this high, high, high price tag. Sometimes they are. Sometimes the luxury items will really, really wow you. So I'm not opposed to a good product being expensive. I just think sometimes it's not necessary and there are so many other options out there available that I want to be the person to share with you where I think you can save that cash. So we're gonna be talking about a few of my most recent Sicily purchases. And I'm also going to share with you a couple of things that I think would be better that aren't as expensive. Uh, so let's just kind of dive in. This is kind of a random video. Um, a plop, 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 plop. Oh my God, why is that my new thing? That like I can't talk properly recently. Like I feel like my mouth, like when I have lipstick on, which I've been a lipstick wearer forever. So I don't know why recently, like I feel it. And then because I feel it, I feel like I'm like talking weird. Stop it, Tati. Random side note, I am putting Il Maquillage to the test, made in Germany, very luxurious, really dumb PR package. I think someone must have seen that because I did get sent a box of makeup. Oh my gosh. Sometimes my sassiness like really gets out of control and I feel bad. It was just like a giant PR box of one item. Uh, so I was a little bit kind of eh, like turned off a tiny bit. I think that's a waste of shipping, a waste of cardboard, and it's just not necessary. But I did get sent a beautiful box of the product itself a much smaller one and the curiosity got the best of me and I've started playing around with these items so far so good side note I am totally wearing the liquid lip right now it is surprisingly comfortable but I'm talking weird I feel like I'm like very aware of my lips so I'm like hi guys welcome to my channel stop it um okay where were we this is the satan powder right here this is not good. You guys, this powder is not good. Repeat after me, this powder is not good. It's so not good, it's so expensive. And it looks pretty nice on. Okay, so let me confuse you for a moment. It's not like out of this world nice, but it looks like pretty decent. This is, let's find out exactly how much this sucker is. Jeez. No, I did not spend that much money on this, stop. I spent $95 on this. I know you're judging me right now. You're like, how would you not know how much it is, Tati? Uh, because I grabbed this and James was purchasing clothing and we rung it up like all together. So we were in Vegas and here's what happened. My like beloved La Prairie powder, which I've had for way, way, way too long. I packed the little travel portion with me because I wanted to not have like oodles of makeup with me. It was supposed to be a quick trip. You guys know I ended up extending my stay because of the fires here in Los Angeles and being so close to the evacuation zones. So we stayed out there. I was using that powder for too many days in a row. I didn't have any other powder. And I started realizing that it was irritating the crap out of my eyes. Like my eyes were like bloodshot red. And I was like, oh my gosh, I can't use this. I've had it for like three years. It's probably totally expired and this is so not good for me. So we went to Nordstrom, James needed underwear. Like we literally had nothing. Like we packed like overnight bags and then just like extended. So he needed to go to Nordstrom. We're there, I pick up 
a powder for $95, hello, who am I? The first time that I used it, I just kind of dabbed it all over the face and it was nice. It's like a very light, silky texture. Now, most of Sicily products are very nice. The reason why I am like dubbing this like the Satan face powder is because I baked with this and I've never had this happen with another powder ever. I've never, like even with Cody Airspun when I inhale it and it just kind of like, like fluffs right in your face. I inhaled some of this powder, like it's so finely milled. And when you press it underneath your eye and then you kick it off, it's like it turns into this like steam-like fluff in the air. And I was breathing that in and here I am in Vegas trying to keep my lungs healthy and away from LA. And I full blown for like a half an hour, no exaggeration, was coughing. Like I could not breathe in without coughing, without actually like my chest hurting. And like to the point where it sounded like I was almost dry heaving. My lungs did not like getting that in there and it really freaked me out. And I think the particles are just so fine. I've never had that issue before. Have any of you guys ever had the issue of inhaling your powder, which I never thought of until this happened of how it's probably not the best thing for any of us to be baking and having all this powder underneath our eyes and then not being mindful to like breathe it in as you're like fluffing it in the air, you know? So be careful when you're using powders, it's very irritating. The ingredients I would think would be very, very, very irritating to your lungs, even if you're not coughing, but this one was the worst. So I won't be using this again, sadly, I just wasted $95. Maybe I'll break my rule. I usually don't return items, but maybe with this one I will. Um, it just, it was a no. Now, oddly, another powder that has kind of a similar texture, where it's not that straight HD powder, it's kind of somewhere in between a Cody Airspun, which is very thick and has pigment to it, and an HD powder. Like if those two had a baby, that's kind of what this seems like to me. So the dupe for that powder that gives a very similar effect, texture, look, kind of flawlessness to the skin without adding a ton of coverage or extra pigment is this guy from Milk. So this is the Blur and Set, and it took me a minute to figure out if I really, really liked this or if I didn't, but the more I have used it, the more I love it. I don't bake with this, and actually I think I've learned my lesson that you want to bake with something that's a little bit heavier, because when it does fluff into that like smoky type powder thing, you don't wanna be breathing that in super bad. And it also doesn't look as good as the thicker powders underneath the eye, in my opinion. It kinda of almost darkens concealer and clings to it in a different way. So if we're gonna get next level, like high maintenance even more, then you would use something like Cody Airspun under the eye if you like to bake, and you would use something silkier across the rest of your face if you have drier skin, more mature skin, visible pores, this would be a great option to kind of blur and set your makeup. So I really love this one. This is a huge no. Um, another thing that I did pick up in Vegas that I am loving is the Blur on the Go from Urban Decay. This is the coolest thing ever. You can put it on top of cream, powder, whatever you have going on. You can actually take a sponge, you can take, gosh, you can even take your fingertips if you have to, but you can go in here and it's like a blurring primer, but it has elements to it that are going to minimize oil. So it's kind of like a liquid blotting paper and it just kind of fills things in. It doesn't lift the makeup, but it kind of just refreshes you. It's really, really nice. It comes in two shades. I picked this up at Sephora and I was kind of scouring and looking for new things. There's one new brand that I am putting to the test currently. So this is the One and Done Blur on the Run Touch Up and Finishing Balm. It's long wear, oil absorbing and hydrating. This is in light to medium, so it's like the best of both. It doesn't make you look cakey. It just immediately blurs and refreshes your look without adding tons of powder on top of everything that's probably already powdered and you don't wanna like get that cakey look when you're touching up halfway throughout the day, this is such a nice option. Um, if you need like full mattifying, like you wanna touch up your skin, you're going out, you don't wanna redo everything and you have oil around the nose or oil specifically right here. Another one that I really enjoy from Urban Decay is this guy right here. This is the D-Slick Mattifying Powder and what I will do is I will literally take a teeny tiny brush, like a crease brush is great. I've talked about this so many times. I'll grab a little bit of it and I'll get in those areas where I have 
a lot of oil. Where kind of, you know, disguising that oil is more important than looking cakey, you know? You don't wanna put this everywhere, but you kind of just want to dab away those problem areas. I will usually use a blotting sheet first to kind of try and get as much oil off the face before going in with powders. That's a helpful tip too. But these two items have been so nice. Love them so much. I would really like to know in the comment section, what is a, you know, department store, luxury, higher priced item that you were just like, oh my gosh, I can't wait to try this. And it just kind of did not work out. Leave that in the comments. I want to hear all about it. Um, okay, so this is gonna be where you guys judge me really hard. Let's talk about something super expensive from Sisley that I love so much. I kind of feel like I wanna just like hide under the table with this one because this is like so extra. It's one of those items that you really don't need, but if you are a makeup lover and you wanna try something that is so nice and so luxurious and you really believe passionately about good skincare, this is so nice, like I love this. I don't know why no one talks about this. What is the deal? No one has ever talked about this. Like I don't even see Jeffrey talking about this and I would think that he'd be like bathing in this because actually I personally blame him for me purchasing Sisley items at all. The Black Rose Cream, I love, that's his fault. Um, I have bought that three times now. I don't have it on hand at the moment, but that is such a beautiful cream. Um, I also love that face mask, which I don't have that on hand either right now, but I have a ton of samples. If you have dehydrated skin, it is so good. Um, something that I will say about Sicily that's nice is if you have sensitive skin, a lot of their products are very good for sensitive skin. Uh, James is someone that, I mean, I'm not even joking. If he uses the wrong detergent, will have redness on his face. Like he decided that when he travels that he wants to start bringing his own pillowcase. I'm not joking because, and he'll probably be like, why are you telling that on your channel? Um, but he won't know because lately he's not watching my videos. Anyway, where was I? Shading my husband. Okay, so he wants to travel with a pillowcase because he's noticed that like the bleach or whatever that they use cleaning um, sheets when he travels, like from sleeping on them, no joke, he'll have like redness all on his cheek. So he is the ultimate test for sensitive skin products. And Sicily works for him. He loves that toner so, so, so much. There was a big box sent to the home and I really thought it was uh, PR. I was like, oh my God, I'm opening it up and I'm just like, oh my God, this is so incredible. And it's like, six bottles of the toner. And I'm like, are you serious? And he's like, it's all I use. I don't ever want to run out. And I'm like, well, you won't, um, but you have six, he bought six bottles of it. James is a person that he finds one thing that he loves and that's it, he's done. He's that way with clothing, with food, with toner, skincare, with hair stuff. He just finds what works and he stays there. And for me, I'm just like, variety is the spice of life. Give it all to me, I want to try it all. So. Where were we? I'm like in story time mode. Yes, Cicely, worth that extra cash if you are on the hunt for something that will not aggravate the skin. So leaning into that, I wanna say that this right here is fabulous for sensitive skin. It's very, very soothing. Uh, you do have witch hazel in here, which is a bit controversial. I like witch hazel. Some people feel that it's uh, drying to the skin. I don't. Some people love it for, you know, anti-acne. It's a whole thing. Do your research yourself. Decide if you like it, you don't. Um, but that is an ingredient in here. This has extracts of rose and corn flour. This is alcohol free and it is beautiful to set your makeup. If you have any powdery whatnot going on, you set your face with this, you're done. Have you ever seen a mist like that in your life? Like it literally comes out and it just, and then it goes like all the way around you. Go to Nordstrom, try it. Like find the bottle and try it. You will see what I'm talking about. It's the weirdest thing. Oh, shoot, that's good. Okay, so this one I'm in love with, it's $100. It's $100, it's a lot. You do in this guy right here, if it helps justify the price at all, uh, it's 4.2 fluid ounces where most setting sprays, like the Morphe one, which I do really enjoy so much, is 2.8. Um, still, you could buy 
what, like three, four of these? Uh, so it's still expensive. Um, that didn't justify anything. It just made me feel worse actually. So cool. That's where we're gonna end this. I really hope you guys enjoyed this ultra random on the spot review of a product that just did not work out. And then me layering in items that did and just kind of you know, sitting down and having to talk with you guys because sometimes that's just what I am in the mood for. And it's been a crazy couple of weeks. I really, really appreciate you guys and your patience and support and encouragement and prayers for all of California. It's been, it's been heartbreaking and I think everybody's trying to just do the best that they can. And um, yeah, I'm sad for my community for sure. But I love you guys and I love that you're always so awesome to me and it's the best thing that I get to sit down and do this. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And I love you guys so much. I hope you're having a good one. If you have not subscribed, make sure you do so before you leave and then ring the bell because every time a bell rings, an angel gets its wings. That's gonna be my new thing. I'm using that, it's mine. Um, we're holiday seasoning it. Oh, like seasoning, I'm gonna go. Oh my gosh, she needs to stop. So I love you guys a lot. I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Mwah.